So this video is the first part in a series where we will be showing you the whole process of uh, designing to uh, making, texturing and rigging a character model for animation. So in this first part, I will be covering character design and uh, Venushka will be taking it over from uh, this video. She'll be showing you how to um, model and texture and rig. We're going to design character in the style of Animal Crossing or to fit into the Animal Crossing um, universe, I guess. So we start off by doing a, a little bit of research. So I recommend watching a little bit of Animal Crossing New Horizons gameplay to see what the models look like. Um, and also I, I recommend going through the Animal Crossing wiki and just scrolling through the villages and see what, what kind of characters uh, they usually come up with. So I decided to make three particular animals that we don't have characters of in Animal Crossing as of now. I've got a red panda, a raccoon, and a Shiba Inu because they're such cute animals. And I'm also going to look up some Animal Crossing characters whose designs I can just take elements of. So I'm using Adobe Photoshop, but any drawing software should do, or even like little pen and paper. I've made this little reference sheet and now I'm going to go make a little sketch of what I think the character's proportions could be. The Animal Crossing characters have kind of like large heads in proportion to their body and the bodies usually have a kind of pear shape. I'm adding little details um, to their faces, getting the shape of the animals in so that they look like um, it's kind of abstracted versions of uh, each of the animals that I have picked. So something really fun about Animal Crossing characters is the eyes. There are so many different styles of eyes in Animal Crossing um, and they aren't necessarily always consistent with each other so I feel like that is the place where you have the most freedom to just go crazy. I made a bunch of different eyes and I was, I'm going to probably play around with them and like decide which one I want to use for each of the characters. Now I'm going with filling in the silhouettes. This is usually how I start my colouring process. I'm picking base colours for each of the characters and I'm now going to um, colour in the little details and markings that these characters have, these animals have. So I'm, I'm using a softer brush to kind of blend them in and I'm adding a little bit of shading on a, on a mask layer. Now I'm going to start picking out which eyes I want to use. I'm going to make little clothes for them. Usually the designs of the clothes on Animal Crossing are pretty simple. Um, maybe like one or two items with a little bit of uh, a pattern or a few small details. I'm now adding a little bit of shading just to make the characters seem a little more three-dimensional and make them look good. And there you have it, um, three character designs in the style of Animal Crossing. Also remember that character design is a very iterative process, which means you can go back to any step, you can go back to your research, you can redesign your silhouette. So I decided to take the raccoon character as my final design for this, for this project. After getting some feedback, I started reworking the proportions, just played around with the same drawing. So I'm tracing around uh, the proportions that I made and making it um, properly symmetrical. And now I'm gonna go through the whole coloring process just like I did before. I did, did a bit more research on um, the New Horizons designs and they tend to be um, a little lighter colored, a little brighter and there's a lot of kind of pastel shades going on along with the brighter ones. Um, so I designed a new outfit for this character that fits better within the New Horizons fun island vibe. And now I need to prepare um, a character sheet that Venushka can use in her part of the tutorial to model the character. And I've drawn guidelines just to uh, use those as references for drawing uh, the character from the side.
I'm going into making my sketch of the character from the side. The side and the front, I guess, are the most important uh, to be able to model the character. You could end it at this point and uh, use these, uh, the, just the front and the side to model the character, but I decided to just go ahead and add in some color and shading for the sketches as well. I also decided to change the markings on the face back to what they were in the previous design. Just touching up the shading. And there you have it, your final character design sheet, and you can use this to model uh, your character in Blender. Take it away, Venushka. I also went a bit off board and started designing a bunch more characters um, using the Animal Crossing formula, so you can just take it anywhere you want. It's pretty fun.